Good evening and welcome to Face to Face. Tonight, we continue with our segment on Christian creatives, and we have invited mother and daughter duo, Ty and Taraji Osgood, to join us and share how they meld artistic ability and an entrepreneurial mindset to take the online world by storm. So Ty and Taraji, thank you so much for coming on the program. I'm so glad to be having this conversation with you, mother-daughter duo, yes. <laughs> creative duo, business uh, partners duo. Uh, so tell me a little bit, Ty, how that came about. I know you've got several ventures and we're going to get to that, but I first want to ask you about your collaboration with, with Taraji. My Taraji. So um, I've had a t-shirt business for years and I've changed the name over the years. So the last um, name was Positive Mugs and mm -hmm. Things. And I'm really big on positivity. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of my products will have um, positive sayings and images and things on it. And I wanted to do something that I connected to that, but something that was fun mm -hmm. and um, that I was really passionate about. And I was like, you know, me and Taraji, we're both natural. Um, you know, we really love the, the black girl movement. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be great to team up mm -hmm. with my daughter um, and do like a natural hair. Um, you know, representing natural hair and melanin skin and taking her artwork and combining it with my words, it would be awesome. So she was, she was like, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do it. So I changed the name again um, to Hello Curls and uh, yeah, we just started creating stuff. Yeah, and it's it's been fun. That's great. Um, something that I wanted to uh, that you just said regarding you know changing the names because certainly for a lot of creatives and people who may be watching, right, um, you can start a business and call it one thing, and there are many iterations of a business, right, <laughs> that may happen until you get to that right thing, right, something that you were passionate about and something that you could collaborate with with um, Taraji on. Yes. So. Um, yeah, tell us about that because as you were, you know, sort of thinking about, you know, you love positivity uh, and positive messages, um, you know, what were some of the other things that you were thinking about as you were kind of trying to fix on that right specific name for your business? When you're born, you're born with your natural hair. And when I was in my late teens, I was frustrated because I was always going to the hair salon to get like a press and curl mm -hmm. and then it would rain and my <laughs> hair would pop, you know, puff up. I don't know and, anything about that. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that, Giovanni. <laughs> and um, so I saw that a lot of the girls were getting perms and their hair was long and straight and they didn't really have to worry about, you know, uh, the hair poofing up. So. I went and got a perm mm -hmm. and I loved it. You know, the hair was long um, and, you know, I always wore it just straight and long yeah. for years. And up until um, maybe 2010 or something like that, I, I got my, um, what do you call it, a touch up you know, to touch up the roots because mm -hmm. they start getting a little kinky. <laughs> um, so I went and got um, a touch up and my hair was already starting to thin um, and look a little raggedy, you know, raggedy. But after I got that last touch up, like a chunk of my mm -hmm. hair fell out. And, you know, women, you know, our hair is everything. And I realized, okay, I can't do the the perms anymore. I got to find another option for my hair. 
my mother has locks. So she was like, why don't you lock it up? And I'm like, no, I, I don't want to lock it up because I like to have fun with my hair. Um, and so I was searching YouTube and I just came across this natural hair community. Mm. And I was like, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I, I want to I wanna try this. So I transitioned for a little bit. So I had the, the kinky and the straight <laughs> hair. And I was tired of that. Just watching those videos, I was like, I'm going to cut my hair. And I did. I had about five inches of natural hair. Hello, girls. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. It's been years yeah. since I've seen you. So that that was the concept, yeah. um, why, how we came up with the name yeah. Hello Curls. And I don't want to get off on a, on a discussion on, on curly hair because there's so much that we could say, yes, right? I know. You know, growing up as women of yeah. color and, uh, you know, sort of being subjected to straightening our hair because yeah. that is what beauty, or it's considered beautiful. Yes. Um, and it puts a lot of pressure, right? And even like you as a mom with your daughter, right? Trying to, you know, straighten her hair because that is what supposedly, yes. you know, good hair, right? right? To give give us good hair. Right. And so I went through that myself in, t in terms of like perming. And so I, same growth yes. thing, you know, you got to grow it out and half it's yeah, <laughs> is straight and half is curly. Right. It's um, and so, so yeah, so I'm so glad that, you know, you went natural, I went natural. Hopefully you guys out there will go natural if you are perming your hair, because not only that, but I recently read that those uh, straighteners actually cause a lot of damage to a woman's organs, to their reproductive organs, to, I mean, all kinds of, of issues to women. Absolutely. So get off of the relaxers, ladies. Yes, yes. <laughs> so hence, Hello Just, Curls, <laughs> representing Hello Curls. natural hair, embracing your yeah. natural hair. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yes. So tell me, Taraji, what your, what your contribution is, because I know you are a student. Where are you at school right now? Uh, Mass Art. Mars, mass Art, and mm -hmm. what are you studying at Mass Art? Illustration. Illustrations. What would you like to do eventually with that degree? Um. I mean, I'm really interested in like doing like comic books or like graphic novels. Um, I don't know. I just I, I like designing like characters and things like that. So hopefully like somewhere in that direction. OK. And so how do you how do you partner with your mom in her business of Hello Curls? What are some of the things that you do? With um, her? So I mainly do the art like, mm -hmm. you know, I'll draw like cute black girls or whatever. Uh -huh. um, I'll do like, you know, cute faces and like the hair poofy, mm -hmm. different um, like like black hairstyles. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Now, um, was art something that you were always interested in? Yes. Um, I have drawings like all the way back from when I was four years old, like yeah. on, on the wall in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, drawing has just been always something that's a part of me. So how did your mom, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you grew up watching your mom, you know, being creative. Was there any influence from your mom into you sort of pursuing that? Or, or do you think it was more like you really wanted to do something like this? Yeah, I do feel like it was just always something that's like inside of me that just made me like, oh, I love art. I want to, you know, learn more, be a better artist. Um, but I mean, I, I did like see her like making her, her t-shirts and stuff growing up, selling them and stuff. And I was like, oh, like that would be cool to do something when I grow up, you know? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, now, Ty, yeah. uh, let's, let's talk about Hello Curls, kind of the business side of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, so it, it went through several iterations. Mm -hmm. um, kind of, you know, trying to, to make it in a creative you know, art or trying to make a living yeah. from a creative pursuit. You know, what has that journey been like, you know, for you? And what are the things that you've had to do? Obviously, you know, you've changed names of the uh, of your business and um, you are currently on Etsy, correct? Yes. Um, but what are some of the other things that you've had to do as you have progressed, right, toward kind of the Etsy marketplace? What were some of the other things that you did to try to get your your products, you know, out there and, and, and seen and sold, right? Yeah. Because yes. obviously we do yes. these things yes. because we <laughs> would like to make money. <laughs> we would. Exactly. Well, you know, right now I, I work a nine to five. 
Um, but having a business, if you want to grow your business, um, you really have to put a lot of uh, work into it. Um, and so I can say when I am, you know, marketing mm -hmm. it um, and getting myself out there, maybe as a vendor, it does well. Mm -hmm. People like it. But if you don't do those things, mm -hmm. it it doesn't really grow the way that you want to. So I'm still, you know, trying to be consistent with it. If I'm just mm -hmm. keeping it real, um, it's hard, you know, to find the time because you have so many other yeah. things yeah. that you are obligated to. Um, but definitely, if you have a business, um, marketing is so important. Getting mm -hmm. yourself out there um, on social media, um, taking out ads, um, getting out there if you can um, as a vendor so that people can mm -hmm. actually, you know, tangibly see your products. Um, yeah. And so what are some of the things that uh, are there places specifically that you have gone to to sell your products? Uh, yeah, there will be events. I haven't um, been a vendor in, in, in a, a year or to okay. um, but there's always vending events mm -hmm. you you'll see them online um, word of mouth mm -hmm. uh, actually my mother just uh, called me the other day and said that there was an opportunity um, at uh, one of the theaters in mm -hmm. in Boston and it would have been perfect but again <laughs> I, I you know I wasn't ready um, you have to have your products and, mm -hmm. and stuff with you and I didn't have enough time to to get that together um, so, yeah, there's there's always opportunities to, you know, be a part of a vending event. Yeah. Yeah. Well, talk to us about, um, you know, having to make a living and work, you know, full time while at the same time being an artist. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and many people may um, sympathize or empathize with that reality. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it takes time to grow a business. It takes time to to get these things off the ground, you, yes. you have, there's a lot of work that yeah. goes into it. Yes. Um, do you have a specific, you know, discipline around mm -hmm. your business, right? I mean, sometimes, for example, uh, some business people will say, okay, you know, this block of time is when I'll spend, you know, doing this, or this other block of time is when I'll spend doing that other thing. Um, you know, help help the audience out there yeah. who who's looking for maybe, maybe tips, maybe ideas how they can mm -hmm. work around trying to, you know, yeah. sell their 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 products or, in or the marketplace. Create, yeah. Um, I would I would block out time. Um, I go into my room and I close the door and I say I'm going to work on this. You know for an hour. But I, I have to tell you, once you get into that creative mode, mm -hmm. it goes beyond in an hour. And I mean, it's way beyond like, <laughs> you can't just do it for one hour. Right, <laughs> right. It's like all night long. Yes. Um, and, and I might be consistent with, with that for a few days. Mm -hmm. And um, so with, with the Etsy, it's about putting up listings. Mm -hmm. um, and so I will, yeah, take that time and I will create maybe two or three listings because that in, that in itself takes time. The SEO, you know, the pictures, mm -hmm. everything has to look good, look right. right. Um, and so, yeah, once I have a couple of listings up, then I'm kind of off. To the next thing mm -hmm. but it is important to take time to or carve out a little bit of time to you know focus mm -hmm. on your business um, if it's an hour a day um, you know on the weekends yeah. you know because yeah. I know you know some people that work nine to five they're exhausted when they get off work um, and that's supposed to be the time that you start your your part time right. <laughs> job, which is your business, working on that. And um, you just have to be dedicated and have in your mind that this is what I'm going to do. 
Um, but that's, it's hard. If I'm just going to keep it real. Yeah. It's, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, definitely. But Taraji, you were agreeing with your mom about yeah. when you get in the, in the flow. I think yes. that's the term mm -hmm. of, you know, of creating and doing your art. Is there anything specifically that you were thinking about as your mom was talking? Is there something you're working on right now? Um, yeah, so I'm kind of um, starting my own um, entrepreneurship business, whatever. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I actually like kind of just started last night. <laughs> um, I was <laughs> I was trying to like you know put some listings up and stuff, and it literally like like I started at like two o'clock in the a afternoon. I didn't finish till like well like eight nine mm -hmm. at, at night. It was just a lot, and I I, I was working on one. It was, oh. it was one listing. Mm -hmm. I, I like, and all that time, I only got one listing done. Yes. So I'm just like, yes, it's so much work. Just yeah. so, what is a listing for someone who is not familiar? Mm -hmm. You know, if, if people aren't familiar, what is a listing? Um, it's it's like um, actually, well, I feel like you can explain this better. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing it longer. So, uh, like, if you go to Etsy and you're looking for. I'm looking for, you know, you put in search engine natural hair shirt. Okay. So all of these shirts will pop up. Okay. They call it listings. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay. And you want your listing to pop. Right. And uh, this is actually one of our most popular yeah. t-shirts. It, it pops. Nice. It, comes up sometimes on the first page. When, that's where you want it. Yeah, the first yes. page is yeah. where you want your listing in, okay. in Etsy. So yeah, that's a that's a listing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I mean, I'm assuming because I've I've been on Etsy and it's a very competitive yes, marketplace. I mean, there are a lot of vendors, a lot of people on Etsy. Yes. And there are probably people selling you know T-shirts with positive mm -hmm. messages and and other kinds of things. Yes. Um, have you found that for yourself that is the best place to to sell your your products yes okay. for for me I mean, a lot of people will say you know shopify mm. you know you can build your own store and oh, everything gotcha. and it is shopify it's it's cool I, I tried it but i think with with etsy they take care of everything mm, like okay. um even like taxes and things like that okay. if you do like shopify you have to kind of mm. figure all that that stuff out at the end of the year but etsy will give you the i think it's a 1099 yeah. it, it, you know they they take care of that for you okay. also with with etsy they already have their customer base mm -hmm. right whereas if you go to Shopify, you have to drive people oh, to, to, to that site okay. and, and okay. the ads and, and all of that. Whereas Etsy, it already has people coming there already okay. knowing okay. what it is that, that they want. Okay. So I, I like. Yeah. And this is really helpful you know, for, for people to know the differences between Etsy and Shopify. And there are probably others out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, since we're kind of talking about different you know, shops where you can have your products, because I know Amazon too sells mm -hmm. uh, small business products. And I didn't know if that was potentially one of the places where you had considered, you know, either of you had mm. considered you're starting I your business never about that, yeah. now mm. and you know, you've had your business going for a while. Mm -hmm. If that is a place where you've thought about I have um, thought about it. Yeah. I have, but I said I want to get this Etsy thing down yeah. packed <laughs> first and then I'll I'll move on to Amazon. But yeah, okay. I have I have thought about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, Taraji, yes, <clears throat> you are an entrepreneur. Yes. You are starting your your own business. This is mm -hmm. your first business venture. Um, I mean, like I've had like little businesses, like not like official or whatever went when I was a kid, but like this is like my like first like official business. Okay. What what led you to start your own business? Um. Honestly, I don't know. I guess I just kind of wanted to have my own like niche or whatever, um, create things that I like and that I think like other people around me will like. Kind of just you know, um, share with others. Yeah, yeah. Is that sort of the similar reason why you started your own business, or, or share with us why why the the need to kind of 
have something that you've produced? Yeah, um, I think it's just that creative nature in me. Um, and I'm just gonna be real. <laughs> I'm just not a nine to five girl. Even yeah. though I have to work a nine yeah. to five, I want to create. You yeah. know, I want to be independent. Mm -hmm. um, I want to write. I want to do what I want to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. so, yeah, I was like, I, I want to have my own my own business. Yeah. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. You know, I yeah. enjoy it. And that's frequently right why a lot of creatives right start to to create and try to get their business out there eventually with the idea that right that this thing is going to support them yeah. full time. Yes. Yeah. Right. You want to be your own boss. You yes. want to be your own exactly. boss. Right. You, you want to call the shots. Mm -hmm. You want to kind of create something that you think the public will like, like. and mm -hmm. and you know get your name out there and be known for that thing yeah, and enjoy it. I mean, I think it's a lot about enjoyment. Not that you know, nine to fives or you know, mm -hmm. they are they're it good. It's good it, to have a job. It's good to have a job. <laughs> It'll help you support the, the business, growing the business. <laughs> We all have to work, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's something something about creating, mm -hmm. um, and as we are talking about creating, um, there was uh, I've been talking to other creatives yeah. in this in this show. We're doing a segment on Christian creatives, yeah. and uh, the verse that we that I've used to kind of frame the entire. Uh, conversation with all the creatives that I'm speaking with, you know, it's Ephesians 2.10 mm -hmm. that talks about um, God, um, that we are his workmanship mm -hmm. and that he created uh, works for us to do beforehand, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so this idea that God um, created us to create. Yes. And yeah. so do you feel that as you are as you are creating, as you are thinking up of ideas and and you know, planning maybe a new product that you want to put into your line, mm -hmm. do you feel kind of God's hand or God's um, creativity sort of flowing mm -hmm. to you as you are as you're, you know, navigating and thinking about what you want to do yeah. for your for your shop? Yeah. I mean with this particular uh, area that that he's given me um, to to create and with words and things like that, um, yeah, you know, you'll get an idea, and then you sit, you know, sit at the computer and you play around with the words and the colors and. And you know, like like I said earlier, it will go on for hours. Mm -hmm. That's how I know yeah. that this this is God. Yeah. You know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, this is what He's called me and created me to do. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that that scripture is is amazing. That you know, God has given us some creativity and purpose before mm -hmm. we were even born. Yeah. And yeah. so he, then here we are. And, you know, if you don't know what your purpose is, go to the creator mm -hmm. and he will tell you and show you what, what your purpose yeah. is. Um, whatever it is that he's purpose for you, it's gonna, it's gonna come to pass because yeah. he created yeah. you to do that <laughs> thing. So, yeah. 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 Awesome. Taraji, what has been, two questions, mm -hmm. what has been the hardest thing about setting out uh, as an entrepreneur? Mm -hmm. And then what would you say is the easiest thing of setting out as an entrepreneur? Um, well, I'll start with the easiest thing. I sure. feel like um, it's easier to find time to do it because, you know, like I'm not in school right, right now. I'm mm -hmm. just, you know, I'm working and then like the rest of the time I'm just at home or like whatever um so I think the easiest part right now is having time to do it um the hardest part maybe like coming up with like ideas for new content mm -hmm. like um, I do have, have like like older drawings that I've created but I'm like eventually I'm gonna need like some new stuff yeah and you know trying to like you know think of things and just think of like what would the people who are like you know buying 
my stuff like what would they want yeah so I think that would be the hardest part yeah so are you are you planning to put your illustrations on products or are you just selling the illustrations themselves um selling the illustrations themselves and putting them on, on okay. products like like also like prints and canvases mm -hmm. um and maybe mm -hmm. like put it on like a bag or like a mug or yeah. whatever awesome mm -hmm. awesome yeah. um I know that your business isn't the only thing that you have done, isn't the yeah. only way in which you are creative, yeah. uh, and you are also a writer. Yes, <laughs> yes. So tell us about that. Tell us about your writing. Um, so I've, I've written two books, mm -hmm. um, Confessions of a Praying Woman and um, Seven Questions About the Prophetic Power of Dreams and mm -hmm. Visions. Um, yeah, writing comes natural for me. Mm -hmm. um, I've known ever since I was little. I think I've shared this story before um, that when I was seven, I kept a diary, but it was an orange notebook. <laughs> um, and I loved to write in that book. And uh, eventually it led to like songwriting because, you know, I, I, I sing. So songwriting and then I, I figured out I could sing. Um, but along the years, I, I've always kept a journal. Mm -hmm. um, and so I love to write and, you know, walking with God, you experience mm -hmm. different things in your life and you can't keep it to yourself. And um, I'm like, I'm going to write. I'm going to write about my experiences and hopefully someone else will be blessed yeah. by it. They'll be able to relate and connect. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I write. Awesome. Taraji, do you, do you write? Uh, yeah, I do. Mm. Yeah. Um, not like I haven't like made any books or anything like mm -hmm. my mom has. But like <laughs> in, in my free time, I like to like write little things or, or like poems or whatever. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So it sounds like there's a lot of commonalities here in the, the yes. creative spirit that mm -hmm. moves in your family mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> has, has landed on, on, uh, on each of you. Um, and there's, uh, there's something else in addition yeah. uh, that you do. You have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the channel and what kinds of things you, you have on the channel or you put up on, on, your, on your channel. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I know, you know, <laughs> so many people are on YouTube and, um, but really I, I felt like the Lord was calling me to, to YouTube for a long time. And, um, so I was obedient and I, I started the, the page, mm -hmm. but it just sat for a long time. And then there would just be this, this nudge, this nudge to um you know get on youtube um and teach and um so again the you know the lord has allowed me to experience some things in in my my life and i teach mm -hmm. what i lived yeah and so that's pretty much um what the channel is about me teaching on different mm -hmm. topics that um, the Lord has put in my heart and has allowed me to yeah. experience. So, yeah, yeah, it's... Well, that's one of the great things about, um, you know, being creative, that when, you know, God, right, gives us this um, kind of creative spirit or creative bent, oftentimes, you know, we're not limited to just one thing, mm -hmm. right? It expresses itself in so many different ways. Yes. So, that, you know, your YouTube channel and your writing and then you've got, you know, your business with your daughter. Yeah. And so it's really beautiful because God isn't limited to just one thing. Right. I mean, yes. the creator of the universe, he created, you know, the little worm and he created the, <laughs> the heavens. <laughs> right. Right. Like so many ways in which God expresses mm -hmm. his creative spirit. Yes. Um, and so, you know, it's just beautiful that we as his creation mm -hmm. get to do so many Great different things, things different things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, Taraji, uh, so there may be a young person, you know, watching who, mm -hmm. you know, is looking at you and thinking, wow, she's starting her own business. Um, is there anything you would like to, you know, to say to someone, you know, watching, mm -hmm. you know, any uh, tips, any 
uh, lessons that you've learned as you've been, you know, working, trying to, you know, to do this? Mm -hmm. uh, anything that you could teach, you know, someone uh, watching is like, I yeah. want to do that. I want to, I want to be my own, an entrepreneur. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I would just say like, um, even if you're like not sure about it, like at least try, like at least start, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to know exactly what, what, what you're doing. I say, you know, just give it a go. You can do it. Um, yeah. And you'll have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how about you, Ty? Anything yeah. that you want to, any tips, any lessons that you've learned along the way as you've been, uh, you know, working on your business and, 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 you know, trying to get your, your products out there, something yeah. that would be helpful, helpful for the audience. Um, I agree with, with Taraji, um, yeah. do it because mm -hmm. you don't want to regret, mm -hmm. you know, I shoulda, I coulda, woulda, mm -hmm. you know, if there's something, um, that is in your heart that you feel like I want, I want to do this. I want to, yeah. you know, create this. Uh, I want to try just, just do it, do yeah. it. Research, you know, <laughs> YouTube is my best friend. You know, if you want information about things, you can go to YouTube. Or if there's someone that is doing um, something that, that you want to do, yeah. go and ask, you know, ask questions. Um, but just step out in faith and do it. And God will meet you. He yeah. will meet you. You know, but first you got to take that, that step. Um, there's this quote, um, I can't think of the man's name, but he's, he says, God is a show me God, mm -hmm. you know, show me that this is something that you want to do, you know, take that first step and then I'll meet you. I'll meet you there. I won't Amen. leave you hanging. Amen. So. And I think we'll end it there. So if you want God to help you in your business, you need to take those first steps of faith. Yes. That's what you're saying. Right? Absolutely. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Ty, thank you so much for coming on the program. Taraji, it has been a pleasure. Thank you. And for I pray us. A, a wonderful fall semester and success with your business. Amen. Thank you so thank much. Thank you both. Yes. Thank you both. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.